here let us discuss a question from the chapter mathematical induction here question is prove by induction that 2n plus 7 is smaller than n plus 3 whole square for all natural numbers n so in the previous videos also we have discussed so many equations from this topic and we know that this question can be solved in three steps only first step we have to show that this is true for n is equal to 1 second step you assume that this is true for n is equal to r and third and last step we will show that this statement is true for n is equal to r plus 1 means p r plus 1 so here this given statement is 2n plus 7 is smaller than n plus 3 whole square so let us see the solution here here given this mathematical statement is here mathematical statement is denoted by pn pn denotes mathematical induction and this mathematical induction given is here 2n plus 7 this is smaller than n plus 3 whole square let us call it relation number 1 now we'll put n is equal to 1 and we'll show that p1 is true so here we have to show that p1 is true and for this we will put n is equal to 1 in relation number 1 so by relation number 1 putting n is equal to 1 here this is p1 putting n is equal to 1 here we have to show this is true and here this statement will now become 2 into 1 plus 7 is smaller than 1 plus 3 whole square or we can write here this is 2 plus 7 is 9 is smaller than this is 4 square that is 16 so this is true that is p1 is true so first step is over we have completed first step second step will assume that pr is true means this statement is true for n is equal to r so let pr be true that is in place of n we will write r that is 2r plus 7 is smaller than r plus 3 whole square this is relation number 2 and third and last step will show that this statement is true for r is equal to 1 so here we have to show that p r plus 1 is true to show that p r plus 1 is true and for this we will put putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 2 what we will get here we will get sorry in relation number 1 ok so here we will get 2 into r plus 1 plus 7 is smaller than r plus 1 plus 3 this whole square or this is 2r this is 2 plus 7 is 9 this is less than r plus 4 whole square now we have to establish this statement here okay we will start with this left hand side so here left hand side is 2r plus 9 here we will show that this 2r plus 9 which is smaller than r plus 4 whole square then pr plus 1 will be proved so 2r plus 9 can be written as 2r plus 7 and plus 2 okay and now by relation number 2 we find that 2r plus 7 is smaller than r plus 3 whole square means this number r plus 3 whole square is greater than 2r plus 7 so replacing 2r plus 7 by r plus 3 whole square this will be greater so this is greater r plus 3 whole square plus 2 and this r plus 3 whole square plus 2 let us expand it this is r square plus 6 r plus 9 plus 2 and this is r square plus 6 r 
plus 11. Okay. This r square plus 6 r plus 11 can be written as <coughs> r square plus 8 r plus 16. So, that we could get r plus 4 whole square. So, we are adding here 2 r. Since we are having 6 r, but you are writing 8 r. So, we are adding 2 r. So, that 2 r will be subtracted for balancing it. And in place of 11, we are writing 16. So, we will subtract 5 also. So, it has been subtracted. Now, you see here this is a, a positive integer because this is positive integer because r is positive integer. Okay? So, this much is positive. So, if you do not write, if you avoid writing this to r plus 1, so it means this is smaller than, this much is smaller than r plus, this is r square plus 8 r plus 16. So, this is r plus 4 whole square. Why it is greater? Because there is a subtraction of some positive number. And since we are not mentioning here, so this will be greater. Okay? So, you see here we are proving here that 2r plus 9 is is smaller than r plus 4 whole square. So, now we are proving this much here. So, therefore, p r plus 1 is true. So, we have done all the three steps. First step we have proved that p 1 is true. Second step we have assumed that this statement is true for n is equal to r. And third step we are proving here that this given statement is true for n is equal to r plus 1. So, these are the only three steps to uh, solve this problem. Now, at the last we have to write only one line statement that therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, this given statement p n is true for all n. What does it mean? It means this statement 2 n plus 7, this is smaller than n plus 3 whole square for all n proved. Okay? So, this is the way to solve this problem and we have uh, discussed so many questions of the same pattern and uh, we will see some more problems also in videos to come. So, please be in touch with my videos and uh, enjoy this topic mathematical induction. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best.